Good morning, good afternoon, even maybe good evening or middle of the night. Um, welcome to the Industrialized Construction Forum at uh, Stanford University. Um, welcome to our beautiful campus virtually, um, as everybody I think that I know, well, everybody I know um, is excited at some point that we can, uh, we'll be able to get together. But so we thought we welcome you with these uh, pictures of our beautiful campus. So I'm Martin Fischer. I'm uh, the director of uh, the Center for Integrated Facility Engineering, SAIFI, that has been hosting the Industrialized Construction Forum um, since we started it. Um, yeah, let's go. Next slide, Juliana. Um, so at, uh, at SAIFI, um, simply put, we have been creating the next practice of designing, building, and using operating the built environment uh, since we started in 1988. And all of that with um, always with industry support. That is the idea behind uh, the center, uh, one of the uh, several centers in the School of Engineering at Stanford that connect us academics with industry to tackle uh, pressing big problems. And, um, and certainly creating a better uh, built environment is uh, one of the pressing problems for us um, uh, these days, well, has been for some time and will likely be. So we are very excited, have been excited to work with everybody around this. And naturally, industrialized construction is a big part of this next practice. Of, well, actually current practice, um, but there's still many things to come, many things to learn as you will see over the next couple of days. Um, so that's certainly a big part of um, our mission. Uh, that's why we have been paying attention to it and have been fortunate um, to collaborate with many of you um, that are speaking, but also uh, um, attendees, but also, um, of course, maybe most importantly, uh, my uh, two co-organizers, Jörg Lessing and, and uh, Daniel Hall, but um, you will see them in action uh, shortly. Um, so more specifically, let me go next. Um, more specifically, uh, the Cypher community develops solutions that create a better experience with the built environment for all stakeholders, improve the quality of life address the climate crisis, build resilience, enhance the local, regional, global economy, and of course, uh, make better use of resources in all phases of a, of a building or infrastructure system. And uh, um, yeah, it has been a privilege to work on these uh, challenges. And um, I think we're seeing um, quite a few uh, benefits around the world from the implementation of uh, the methods we have been able to do in the community and say community because it's not just us here um, in the Y2E2 building at Stanford that you see here, but it's really the community, all our industrial partners and other academic partners. So we had uh, the first ICF uh, in 2014 and uh, there was just a handful of people really in our uh, SAIFI lab. Um, and here you see uh, Jörkor um, presenting. And it has really grown almost by close to a factor of two in um, interest each year. Um, and uh, Jerkor in his PhD defined um, industrialized construction as a collection of really nine uh, practices. If you wanna show the next one. And um, I show this um, because we're not gonna really talk that much about what ICF is because that's what we've done in the past few years. As you see from the agenda, we will talk more about what's coming, what people are really doing on the leading edge, um, motivated by some of the challenges I mentioned, and also by the digital tools that are increasingly more powerful. And uh, because sometimes I hear, yeah, yeah, we do industrialized construction. And when you ask then well, yeah, they do prefabrication. So that's no, yeah, that's prefabrication. That's not yet industrialized construction, right? Or sometimes I hear, yeah, no, no, we, we have a good digital platform, yeah, again, that's not yet industrialized construction in our mind. Um, these are all good things to do by themselves, each of the pieces of industrialized construction, but the, the power really comes when you put all of them together, like with everything. If you go next, Juliana. The power is really, as always, is the power of and, right? When we put all of these pieces together, that's when we get really the big benefits. And so that's what I will be looking for over the course of the next two days. How many of these components and at what level have uh, 
the different uh, speakers been able to combine in their vision and in their in, in their practice. So as you know, uh, specifically, um, we have uh, four topics in the ICF um, around a circular and sustainable industrialized construction, a really key part to address the resource efficiency uh, climate crisis. A um, couple of the big topics that I mentioned earlier, the pressing problems. Um, then um, also um, exploring the role of parametric design tool for industrialized construction. We have hinted at that a few times over the last few years, but uh, um, now I think uh, we have seen uh, really quite some dramatic progress in even the last year and certainly much more to come. Um, same, same with uh, 3D printing, where we will um, have a deep dive, so to speak. And uh, then um, a session that I'm, I'm excited about all the sessions, of course, but uh, one that I'm particularly excited about is accelerating change for industry transformation. Um, as you will hear me talk uh, tomorrow um, as a little bit of a head up, heads up for the speakers that are already here, as you will talk tomorrow, is uh, one of the puzzles for me has been how difficult it has been to learn from good examples. And you say, yeah, but we have to also learn from the failures. But yes, I agree. Uh, not doing something bad is, is, is better than doing something bad. But it doesn't yet lead us to, to addressing the big challenges we have. So for that, we need to learn to do something dramatically better. So we need to get much better at learning from good examples. And that has been uh, surprisingly difficult to do in our industry. 